I don't know, man. I, the, I, it's, it hasn't been that bad of a year for me. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I actually, my boyfriend proposed on the third day of quarantine. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I said yes, obviously, because I thought we had three months to live. And uh, two weeks ago, we got married in, yeah, got married in Washington Square Park, which is nice. Uh, there's something about my, my fiance, my husband now, that uh, he just makes me want to say yes to everything, which is why we got married where they shot the movie Kids. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I love him, and I, love is gross, honestly, it is. It's, it's like a fart, you know? It's like farting in public, like. Feels good if you're the one doing it. Um, everybody else is like, we live in a society. Do that shit in your home. Um, but I, I don't know, it, it's so, it's just weird to be doing comedy right now. Cause like, everybody says, they're like, we need laughter now more than ever. But I'm a comedian and um, I need money now <laughs> more than ever. I'm like, I sell laughter and you guys aren't buying. Okay, did you guys uh, clap for the healthcare workers every night? Did you do that? Yeah, we're done now, huh? That shit went on for way too long. I, I'm glad you did, my sister's a nurse and um, I wanna say this on her behalf, nobody appreciates nurses as much as they do. Yeah, they're heroes and they'll tell you that. And it's not that what they're doing isn't heroic. It is, it's very heroic. It's just like, it's a bummer to hear about, okay? And they never stop talking about it. Like I called up my sister to make some light conversation a couple weeks ago. I was like, hey, how was your day? She goes, it's really rough. And I was like, oh, what happened? She goes, I had to pull the plug on my favorite patient. I was like, your favorite patient? Like, what do you do to the ones you don't like? She didn't like that one. She was, not everything's a fucking joke, Rosie. And I was like, yeah, but you set it up. I feel like I knocked it out of the park. <laughs> We're both killing. Um, no, I, I did, I, was, I, I got on my rooftop every night. I clapped for the healthcare workers, which we did in New York City. You know, we got, all got on our roofs and we were like, this'll fix it. And um, yeah, and then three months went by and we were still on our rooftop, and it started to feel like we were cheering for the losing team, didn't it? <laughs> like, I was like, this is cute if you don't have COVID. Because uh, if I had COVID and I had to FaceTime my family members, and they started clapping for the bitch holding up my iPad, <laughs> I'd be like, okay, I'm pulling the plug myself. We're done here. We're all set. It's been, <laughs> it's been a rough year, man. It has. I thought suicide rates were going to go up. Um, I did, but only if you really mean it. You know, because Amazon's gonna run out of rope. Yeah. Say, so send it all to NASCAR. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think suicide's funny, but I do think it's hilarious to want to kill yourself and have to wait three weeks for the rope to arrive. <laughs> you just think, man, if this rope doesn't get here, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. I'm a pretty dark comic. Um, yeah, I am. I've had a lot of death in my life. That's just what my life has been. Um, and I'm fine with it. Like, I feel like if you've had death in your life, it's just like you sort of get a dark sense of humor, you know? Like, I had a sister pass away, and it happened a long time ago, so just relax. Um, you guys, I saw everybody lean in like they were at a funeral. Just like, tell me. Um, yeah, she passed away 18 years ago, so everybody's fine, you know, in my family, especially her. Because, I mean, <laughs> what's she missing, right? And I've never heard her complain about it, so no news is good news. Anyways, she is the sister I get along best with. She's a good listener. Yeah, you guys, it's not your tragedy, so I suggest you fucking give it up for this. Um, and also I'm gonna keep going, so. Yeah, I don't know, she, um, 
I don't know, whenever I tell people I have a dead sibling, they always react the same way. They always go, how did she die? And I'm like, she drowned. And then they go, how did she drown? <laughs> and I'm like, it's, it's water. <laughs> like, it wasn't Willy Wonka's Chocolate River. <laughs> what the fuck? You know what I mean? But what they really mean when they ask that is, where did she drown? And they can't, they can't ask it like that, because then it just sounds like they're going to go look for her. <laughs> so, th so then I have to answer that part of the question, and I hate answering that part, because here's the thing. Um, this was tragic. It was terrible. Uh, it was the worst thing that happened to my family. But my sister drowned in a jacuzzi, <laughs> which is a very festive place to drown, OK? It is. It throws off the story, you know? It's like getting shot in the head with a t-shirt cannon. <laughs> like, a jacuzzi's where I lost my virginity to make it special. <laughs> and she took that from me. So who's the real victim? I'm just saying, like, if you hear somebody dies in a boating accident, and then you hear it's a private yacht, <laughs> somewhere in the back of your mind, you're like, nice. <laughs> Anyways, I was saying it does, it gives you this dark sense of humor. And I do, I have a dark sense of humor. I remember I was at the funeral for my sister and um, I turned to my other sister and I go, hey, why are we all wearing black? You know, like, what's that about? And she goes, it's to honor that it's what the dead would have wanted. And I was like, well, that's debatable. <laughs> you know, because if we're thinking about what the dead would have wanted, I mean, we'd all be wearing life jackets.